my workouts for this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I do a lot of stuff in the gym. That's uh -huh. why I never have I never have back pain. Uh -huh. But still it's my natural like yeah. I do. Alright, so shall we start? <laughs> Leila Tanovic is a 14-time national champion of Bosnia and Herzegovina, a four-time Balkan champion and uh, finished the last season as eighth marathon cyclist uh, in the world. So you're a cyclist? <laughs> yeah, basically a uh, cross-country and a uh, marathon cyclist, if that's, uh, that's the most important, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my very first bi bicycle was very bad. Uh, it, it was uh, really bought at a shop that uh, sold, you know, uh, bread and uh, milk. So it was really basic. I think it, co it costed like 50 euros. Uh, so uh, pretty much after months, I learned it, it's not suitable for mountain biking and uh, changed it pretty quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I would say cycling is getting really, really big in Bosnia. Uh, first of all, uh, there's a lot of hills and it, a lot of amazing natural stuff that are really just accessible uh, with a mountain bike. Uh, besides from the, you know, uh, nature, the competitions are really starting to get big. There's a lot of uh, young children and that's what really makes me happy and uh, a lot of uh, futures, future hopes of uh, mountain biking in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, I would definitely uh, be a nerd, like I finished law school and I would be a lawyer for sure, uh, but I'm also sure I would be uh, having uh, 20 kilograms more <laughs> because I love to eat and uh, I was just starting to get really big when I started cycling, so it really changed my life in a positive direction. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely marathon cycling uh, since in the last year, year and a half, I've discovered a huge love for it uh, and I've discovered I really have a big, big talent. Uh, after eighth place at World uh, Championship last year, uh, I started to get more into it. Uh, so I, I would say I'm both now specialized in cross country and marathon racing. I think too long, uh, too long uh, with the tubeless and uh, with the sealant and with the foam that goes in. I think about an hour and I'm really bad at it. I always need help. <laughs> uh, I think probably, probably none. I just, when I hear it, I know it's, it's the same in my language, but uh, I don't know, apart from the ones that are similar to my language, I really can't remember any, <laughs> I suck. <laughs> Not even those unpolite words. No, no, nobody ever learned me, <laughs> which, is, which is weird. This, these are the first words you learn. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's day that's completely structured, planned out. Uh, it's really important for me to have the structure, to have uh, a big nap, to have uh, breakfast, uh, to have a good training, then recovery, of course, uh, with nutrient, nutrient supplements, uh, and then after that, lunch, and then uh, after that, another training, then dinner uh, for and then maybe a short walk, uh, having, spending time with my family. Uh, so when I have this uh, you know, usual day and when I have it every day, uh, it, really makes me, it really makes me happy. Like this control and consistency is something I, uh, I strive to have every day. Uh, well, uh, I would say I relax, but if uh, I do some activity, I feel so much better. If I just lay down, I just feel really bad. And I think that's why I do uh, what I do. I do cycling because it really makes me happy. So uh, for me, uh, re relax mode is really a mode of being, being active. I don't have to run. I just like to, you know, get out, be, be in the open. Uh, so that's really, really a lifestyle. 
pizza. Pizza is my number one. I, uh, I prepare good pizza and I eat pizza after every race. Uh, this is like my tradition. Uh, after bad races, after good races, I always have pizza uh, because it's really something I look forward to and uh, it really means that I have pizza no matter the result. Life goes on. So that's why I prepare pizza. It makes, uh, makes me also feel happy as, and also it makes other people happy. <laughs> Uh, well, from cycling, def definitely Ganrita Dale. Uh, she competed for so many years and uh, she was just a great ambassador for the sport and I met her when I was just, uh, start when I just started cycling uh, and she was really an amazing person and amazing, uh, amazing cyclist to learn from. Uh, and apart from cycling, uh, Lindsay won uh, because she had so many injuries and uh, I've had a few myself and uh, every time I, I was really feeling down, I just remembered the way she handled it. So uh, those are the really, really uh, my role models from, uh, from sports. Oh, I would say again, too many. Uh, especially when I started cycling, uh, for me, I just tested my boundaries a lot. But you need to test your boundaries to know how far you can go. Uh, so that is the way I actually learned to ride downhills and uphills. Uh, so I had a few injuries and uh, that is the cost of this sport, I mean, part of it. Uh, but now, uh, after so many years, I, I wouldn't say I fall a lot. <laughs> Uh, 70 kilometers per hour, which is not a lot, but in my defense, I have 52 kilos and I'm just slowing down when I go down hills. I have to pedal it out. So that 70 kilometers per hour is all me. So it is not the force of nature. <laughs> Do you mean technical feature? Like technical feature, I mean like of, the bike. Of the bike, yeah. Well, I love my dropper post. Uh, when I ri ride down downhills, uh, the bike yoke dropper post really goes down and you can really shred it. And when you go uphills, you just put it up and it's like nothing is happening. Uh, so uh, that is something, the technology that really changed my uh, way of riding and helped me downhills and uphills. <laughs> Well, my biggest goal in life is to be happy uh, because you have all these things you do, all these goals you strive for and uh, at the end uh, it all ends at some point of, in your life. So you really want for you to be, feel happy when it ends, uh, whenever that is, when, if it's at 65, if it's at 30, whatever stage of life ends. Uh, all that matters most is for you to be satisfied with your life. Uh, the book that changed my life is from M. Scott Peck, uh, The Path That You Rarely Go On To. Uh, I think it's translating something like that in English. Uh, it really uh, made me reflect on my feelings and the uh, feelings I had that uh, held me down uh, and th that I didn't know of. I, I thought everything was perfect, everything was fine, so it really made me reflect, re reflect on my feelings, which is important for athletes because some of the feelings you uh, really don't perceive uh, are the ones that are holding you uh, back in training. So uh, that's what really uh, made me push, push more uh, in training and uh, be more satisfied with my life in general. <laughs> Thank you.